you've been, you've been, yes. you've come back. How was I'm Australia? Back. I mean, it was great, fresh off the flight. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a monster, you know. I but, know. It, but it's so worth it, as you said before, yeah. it's so special. Yeah. And just to go back, and somehow I got roped into doing a Bush Tucker trial. Gosh, what did you I do? Know, I did the Critter Construction one. Oh, my goodness. Me. Yeah, I, I mean, you I, I gave it a good go, but it is interesting how the different mindsets. Yeah. So, two years ago, when I'm winning food, I'm giving it serious welly. But this one, I was like, just got to get through it. Yeah, it's um, funny, isn't it? When you're yeah. for survival, it's, yeah, it's really interesting. You've actually got tonight's trial exclusively. Yes, we've got a little exclusive clip, so yeah, let's have a look. The first got is the deepest. <laughs> Fish cuts! That's so disgusting. That's so like the Flurry's pizza topping one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. And wow. did you notice that Anthony Decker actually involved in this this evening, which we never normally get, which I think is quite exciting, but it looks really savage. Oh, that was horrible. To do that one. Really tough. Um, so last night we saw that the Jungle Arms is back. I think yeah. it's my favourite episode of the whole series thus far, because it's just I so was, I, was, I was so thrilled when I when I visited years and years ago, uh, the Jungle Arms set up was, oh, uh, was, and I actually sat on the stool mm, of the Jungle Arms. Yes, I love so that. It's iconic. Nice. It's yeah. always the best episode. But um, yeah, we saw that all the campmates put on their own pantomime, and it was so funny. It was called Critterella. Yeah. And every time Kate Garraway said the word Critterella, she got a really nasty electric shock. But in my opinion, Andy and James stole the show. They were the ugly sisters. Mm -hmm. And it was just really, really funny. And after the panty, the campmates won a really lovely trip to the Jungle Arms. It was so good. And did karaoke. They did karaoke. Let's have a look. Disco dancing with the lights down low. Oh. How can you sing Girls Aloud song in front of a Girls Aloud member? Sound of the under, sound of the under. had to have the words to gold, his dad's song. <laughs> he doesn't get any more millennial than that, does oh, it? That One really of the best doesn't. Songs ever. He's got to have the lyric sheets. So, talking of Roman, uh, despite last night's sort of close ties in camp, there were a few little tensions there. Yeah, so Caitlin has been rubbing Roman up the wrong way. I mean, he just... He was basically saying that he would prefer it if she said please and thank you a bit more. Because in Caitlin's opinion, they had a bit of a dodgy meal last night. It was really tough. It didn't Octopus. taste of anything. Octopus. You know, we love a bit of squid, but maybe in the jungle, yeah. it's not deep fried. <laughs> Calamari, darling, it. calamari. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, it's really interesting. Let's have a look. It does do my head in that she doesn't say, please, thank you. Mm, yeah, but you know what? She's 70 years old. Yeah, she's... Think about it like your granny. I know, but... She would probably say, please, and thank you. But I always think, once they get up to a certain age, it's like, you know what, you've paid your dues. But she's only just turned 70. Yeah. It's only ten years older than like my mum and dad. Mm, he's not having it, is he? I wonder whether that will build a little bit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank yeah. you. Nice to Thank see you. Thank you very much.